Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast episode 644. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinstein. Hey, hey. And Tony Korkanakis. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Uh, welcome, listeners. Welcome, viewers. We're live streaming on Twitch Tuesday nights. It is, uh, we, yep, I just got the notification. See, subscribe to our Twitch channel to let you know when we go live. So you know this. There and we if are. You, if you do miss our live streams, uh, we are um, on YouTube the following forever. So uh, please subscribe What's to our our YouTube? Channel. What's our YouTube? What's our YouTube? What is our YouTube? I can't plug that on the air. It's like a link. It's it YouTube. A Y C G. A Y C G. A Y C G. I got it. I got it. <laughs> you look, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to say it wrong and say it was all you can geek because I was like I don't know, uh, but we did AYCG. So it's YouTube.com for uh, slash AYCG. So at AYCG. Yeah. Um. So all right, that's our channel. Subscribe to them. Get the latest and greatest. Let's go into this. this is the movie cast, folks. Guess what is the number one movie? Still the number one movie in in the nation. Is Super Mario Brothers Shazam two? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, no, mm. it's not not a DC Warner Brothers movie. Mm. Um, but yeah, Super Mario Brothers lost another thirty seven percent. Got legs, this hold is amazing. Legs it for is. days. Yeah, I mean, crazy. This is huge, and it's yet to open in Japan and South what's Korea. the other market? South Korea. South, okay, this week. South Korea. Mm -hmm. This week it's opening. <clears throat> this will push it over the billion dollar mark this week. There's no question. Um. They were just like talk about maybe being able to pull it off last week. I'm like, there's no way. No. Uh, it's at 871, I think, worldwide now. Um, so After this, this weekend, maybe. Yeah, yeah this will do it. Incredible. I mean, 37% drops is unheard of. It's the third, the third week in a row, the best animated movie drop of all time. Uh, most amount for a third week in an animated movie. I'm sorry, that's just that. Uh, for anime movies of all time, the highest grossing amount for a third week in the box office mm -hmm. of all time. Um, so it's incredible what this movie's been mm. able to do, and and again, back to the bold predictions, Corey. I know you said it wasn't very bold, <laughs> but did you really did you really think it was going to be as good as it was here, like money wise? I thought it was going to reach a billion dollars, but I was hopeful it was going to reach a billion dollars. I guess it's still it's still a billion dollars, so it's oh, definitely it... bold, but it's not as like out there as say like Sonic beat making a billion dollars. <laughs> if, it, it, if it reaches like. Top three grossing of the of the year is that huge? I mean, yeah, why wouldn't that be? I, I think I mean, it's I, I think it's, think it's relative, be... you know. I think it's relative, right? Yeah. Not to interrupt. No, but... it definitely is. It's <clears> a mean, matter of like you know, if we were if we were saying pre COVID, yeah, I, I I definitely agree. Like a billion isn't that high of a mark, but this post COVID, you know, theater. I think it's what um, <clears throat> Spider Man No Way Home and Avatar too. That's. Mm -hmm. I think that's hit. Okay. I don't. I don't. I can't to, remember yeah. anything else that's that's hitting that. I, so I, I think that's about it. Yes. So it's in, it's very impressive. Um, either way, you shake it down, break it down, whatever you want to do over there, and uh, it, it's 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 a great film. So we talked about it before. So mm -hmm. I'm very, uh, you know, uh, Evil Dead, uh, that that remake. Uh, well, is it a remake? Evil I don't Dead know. Rise. Rise. It's not a remake. It's the new age. The new age of Evil mm -hmm. Dead. Um, that's the word I was looking for. It did pretty well. I think it did 24 million, I think, opening, mm -hmm. almost 24. Mm -hmm. Um, very, very respectable, especially up against, uh, it's a funny, you get two contrasting, you get the rated R horror movie against the uh, Super Mario kids mm -hmm. family movie. Uh, it did pretty well still, uh, as well as I think they expected or better, possibly. Uh, those movies don't really have the largest of budgets usually. So I, I think they're pretty happy with their twenty four million. Um, yeah, you know, I think we've we've talked about it over the years several times. Horror movies, you know, they get away with practical effects and uh, or you know computer effects, but you know, it doesn't need to be necessarily high budget. You get a bunch of like no name or low name celebrities, you know, and stuff like that, and just kill them. And it's like, oh, people just like seeing people <laughs> die, gruesome deaths, and stuff like that. It's like wow, that formula, yeah. pretty winning. <laughs> Who would have yeah. guessed? Yep, yep. So. Um... I'll be muting myself for ever now if I have a cough again. Sorry, folks, everybody. I'll be muting myself if I miss. I do apologize. I did it well here, but you'll see me if you're watching. I apologize for this. Uh, a little bit of a cold today. Um, so let's see what else we have. Uh, the Covenant, John Wick 4, John Wick Chapter 4. That Covenant movie, I didn't even know that was a thing until like a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I think when I saw John Wick 4, and I was like, this movie looks weird. Like... Not even, like, kind of good. I'm like, why would you get Russell Crowe to, like, 
be some exorcist. I didn't see that... any real ads for it or a promotion. Yeah, at all. I don't know. Maybe it was a passion project, but I thought it was weird. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying anything the quality movie. I'm just talking like I was like uh podcasting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I didn't see much about that. This week, but, I don't know. Right. What's opening up this weekend? Anything? No. Next week is no. Guardians. Is it already? Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. it is. Look at that. I'm like, what day is this? The 25th. Yeah, next week is Guardians uh, after this week. So there's a, there's a lull. Uh, and then you'll have a new number one movie. Um, so, yeah. I mean, interesting to see what that movie does. I did not get tickets for it yet. So I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to see it. Yeah, there's actually, but, uh, um, uh, on some of the forums related to like Reddit, uh, some people are hinting that right now ticket projections aren't even showing like a hundred million dollar domestic opening weekend, which I think is ridiculous. Like I could see it getting a little hit just because of the past couple, especially Ant Man. But like, if it doesn't do a hundred million, that yeah, would be right. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just think it's third crazy. one in the trilogy, yeah. the final chapter, yeah. James Gunn's Marvel feels Rangers over already. Movie. What? It feels over already to a lot of people. At, after after Infinity War or Endgame, it just feels over. Their, yeah. their story. I mean, well, yeah, I get to see the the closure for some of these characters though. Like we didn't know where Gamora went off to, and yeah. a glimpse of them. Gamora is dead. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I think um, talking about Gamora that's alive. <laughs> she was uh, she was just actually in the news. I think today talking about hoping hoping that her character gets recast. Um, would love to see it still on the screen, but she's, I guess, her chapter is finished after this movie, so. I'm sure she's uh, probably, you know, I mean, because if you count the Guardians movies, but plus the Avengers cameos Avengers, and yeah. stuff like that, like, I mean, that's, that's a lot of movies. All over yeah. And, and a holiday special, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the Thor. So. We know Batista's over it. Yep, yep. The only one I, I know said that he would love to come back is Chris Pratt. Yeah. That's it. So. He would, yeah, there's nothing he won't do. No, I mean, he, he makes a lot of money. I don't blame him. I mean, it's he's yeah, been it for, right. you know, what, over 10 years now, right? Guardians, yeah. 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 I mean, that's kind of what shot him in the stardom. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I mean, he was good. Yeah, on that, and, of that and but... Jurassic, um, whatever, the first World. Jurassic World. nonsense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jurassic nonsense, the new age, yes. Yeah. No, but I think he got that move part because of Guardians, though, right? Yeah. Uh, almost same time i thought i thought it was a year difference but that's like i don't know if you can cast the part well whatever <laughs> yeah. i don't know um all right so uh let's let's get into what i've been up to we kind of skipped over mm-hmm. that a little bit but uh, uh anything fun like i know the finale of mandalorian was on um i did not get to that i almost did i, I saw I... the previous the penultimate episode mm-hmm. okay. i mean spoiler free um, I thought it was a fine uh, finale. Um, it was actually pretty action packed, uh, pretty f- satisfying. Um, I just felt like the overall story this year, this 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 season was okay. It wasn't the strongest they've done, and um, yeah. but it wasn't like a bad chapter. It wasn't a closure, bad closure of the season. It was actually really, it was entertaining. I'd say so. Does myself. it move Jin yeah. and Grogu's story forward at all? Of course. It does? Uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so, because it's like, I, you, I mean, I'm trying to keep it vague as okay. possible. Okay, I mean, I'll watch it. I'm going to watch it. I just haven't had a chance. My, my feeling, mean, not watching the last, but watching the second to last episode, it's more it's more about what Grogu does at this point, I feel like. Okay. Grogu's um, character grows quite a bit in the finale. Um, I do feel like that this could have been physically? a... Physically? Yeah, no. Th- I do feel like this could have been a series finale. Series, the way it, I, I got to, yeah. So, I just don't like, know. Just but... like the end of season two. Yeah, no, I no, no, no. That wasn't going to be a series. That they left a lot of questions for season two. This was like th- this one has no, a that, belt. Like that should have been a, a series finale. That would have been a terrible series finale. That would have been a terrible series finale. This one, I this one you can watch and you'll. I think you guys will agree with me. But okay. Say, All right. I'm curious. Um, you know, just okay. a little I, I, cautious. The thing is, is like I know there's going to be more seasons, but I'm like the way they finished it. I'm like, did they know? Yeah, but when? When? Right? Because yeah, like that's true. That's true. Like, because you know, know with them cutting a, a lot of budgets and con, I mean, in the news, tangentially related, um, yeah. you know, we'll get to that. But I mean, Disney's laying off a lot of people this week. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we're going to get into that actually. I think, yeah. 
But, but I do think Mandalorian is likely to be all that remains. Yeah, more than know, I, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Mandalorian they, is you know high priority. I'm sure. They actually canceled the uh, National Treasure uh, mm-hmm. show. Yeah, I, I forgot to post that. that. Yeah, yep. I was like, oh man, I saw that. I was reading that today. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I was actually like, oh no, like it was a, a show that my wife and I like to watch, and you know, it, it wasn't anything masterful, but it wasn't a bad show. And I'm just like, man, that got canned. I'm like, I'm annoyed. Um, I mean, I'm not going to, like, lose sleep over it, but uh, it, it sucks to hear. Uh, you know, I'm now I'm, all I have to look forward to is maybe a National Treasure 3, uh, hopefully. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. Mandalorian finale, I thought it was satisfying. It was good. Um, let us know what you think, guys. Please comment. Yeah, let us know. Definitely. Uh, what else, guys? Ted Lazo for me. Good show. Great show. Um, yep. Solid stuff. Yeah. Uh, Corey, anything else for you? Yeah, I actually got to see the live action production of Spirited Away. Oh, which okay. was really where was cool. that? New York? No, well, no, it was um, it's like they filmed it. Like it's oh, 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 oh gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They gotcha. film it as a movie, but it's the live action production of the of the That's show, cool. kind of like Hamilton did. Yeah, yeah, Atlanta. that's cool. Uh, and it was fantastic. I have to say, like where, where the was production it? value. Uh, they were showing it in Manville, um, down. The, Oh, so you went to a movie theater that was... It was a movie theater, Okay, yeah. gotcha, 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 gotcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're doing, like, a whole Studio Ghibli fest thing where mm-hmm. they're showing all these, all the movies. But this is, the, like, the only live-action production one. And, yeah, the production of the actual the stage was amazing. The transitions between different scenes, the way that they had, like, different levels. Uh, like, it's not... It wasn't just, like, on the stage. There was, like, stuff going on uh, you know, different stories, different levels. And, um, yeah, I was just, like, super impressed. The actors were fantastic, the, the performers. Yeah. Uh, cool. Highly recommend it if it's something that you can see. Yeah, I hope it gets again. online so, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I They nailed the the actors of it, though, like the main the main cast. I, I was very impressed by it. Yeah, so highly recommend Um and yeah, it's a little long. I, I would say longer than I expected it to be. John Wick Four longer? No, it didn't feel <laughs> long, but, but like it's funny because there is an intermission section, but it just mm. like goes black and then comes back. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wow, if this was actually like a, like a half hour intermission, like this is three oh. hours. Yeah, almost, yeah. Almost, like, so um, live performance. It was, it was good. It was all all worth. It didn't feel like I was like looking at your watch stuff, or anything. Yeah. Right, because everything was different and new, and even though a lot of the sets were kind of being repurposed for different things, the way that they did it and the way that they uh, incorporated the the costume design with the different sets and stuff, and yeah, I was I was really impressed by it. Like I've seen a lot of stage shows where the production value, the effort put into the stage itself is just kind of lackluster and it's like lazy feeling. I felt like yeah. this was really high quality and yeah i mean ghibli's uh, a household name over in japan i mean they can't yeah they, they can't risk messing that up thankfully you know exactly yeah they get, you got hold themselves up to a high standard you know just like nintendo mm-hmm. you know so i got cool, cool, well, cool. Was cool. yeah that's a yeah. churro chiming in saw a random ad for that legitimately caught my interest spirit away live action looked neat actual film was two hours makes sense it was longer with peoples yes oh is it mm-hmm. just two hours out of the film? You know, i don't know if i've ever watched that one what the so fuck like... I know. Spirited I Away? Know. You've never I seen know. Spirited Away? Yeah, I don't know Why are you... if I've actually seen that. What the fuck? It's happened. It, Dude, it's, it's like 20 happened. years old. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Maybe you, know, you I, saw I know it exactly don't remember, how, Jim. I know exactly what it is. I know exactly what it looks like. I know exactly when it came out. I just don't think I've ever seen it. Wow. Kuro's shaming you. He's shaming you, man. Yeah. yeah. Ah, geez. Yeah, uh, I'm shaming you. That's that's yeah. ridiculous, dude. I know, I know, I know. They, and so. they did really do a good job with um, interpreting the, you should, the yeah. animation. So you should watch that with Arya. I'm sure she'd like that. Oh yeah, she. I think she's seen it. That's the thing. Like I, she's she's talked to me. Put your yeah. daughter on this podcast. Go wake her up. <laughs> she's yeah. talked to I, me about him. She's definitely said a lot of recommend it though, Ailey. If you if you're a fan of of anything, um, stage produ- produced. And then, obviously, with Studio Ghibli stuff and Spirit Away specifically, highly recommend. So, mm. good stuff. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, uh, Tony, what else for you? Uh, I want to see the Dungeons & Dragons movie, Honor Among Thieves. Oh, nice! That, that yeah. Um, <clears throat> so much fun. Yeah, it was. It really, legitimately was. I'm not, like, a huge... Like, first of all, I don't play D&D, the, the tabletop game. I am a fan of, like, the world, the lore, 
you know, the setting and stuff like that, right, you know, right. adjacent to, you Play know, like, games that are yeah. in, set in these either set places. in or inspired yeah. by some stuff like that. Right, but right. even still, like I had a wonderful time. Like it was really good. Like honestly, from start to finish, I don't, I can't think of any like boring or dull moments. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of good jokes, you know, not just like, I mean, there's some quipping, but like, it isn't just straight up like quips. There's a lot of like witty, like, um, references and callbacks and stuff like that and set up for and things, set up for yeah. things yeah, and stuff like mm-hmm. that and i think all the actors and actresses did an amazing job at their, mm-hmm. their roles and um michelle rodriguez like shout out to her because i mean 99 percent of the time whenever she's in a role you just get michelle rodriguez right and not to say that you, that you don't see that element in it here but like she does get to do more than just be herself and stuff like that. So I thought she, I thought her character was really funny. Um, it, it gets me more interested now too because it's like yeah, when I see her name on something, I know what I'm getting. Yeah, like, you know what you're getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, wrong with what say it's, you don't know what you're getting, but you know, there's more layers to it. Yeah, there's more yeah, layers, like, more nuance. And, and there's nothing wrong with her performances. Like, no, no, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just know what I'm getting with her. Like that's and she and Chris Pine play well. Yes, the they had yeah. excellent chemistry. Um, cool. Chris Pine still. Still, still, he still got it. Yeah, he still definitely got it. So, um, yeah, and I thought it was perfect length. Um, wasn't too short. Wasn't you know too long. It was just like this is good. Um, I know it's not doing great at the box office. So I'm hoping just I'm hoping between the word of mouth, the critical reception, um, and maybe some success on streaming or and yeah. Blu-ray and stuff like that, they can maybe do a sequel. Maybe pare down the budget or you know I don't know whatever. But um, I would really I mean, like to see a continuation of this. If, if, the underdark if get... sequence was great. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, if you get enough um, – such positivity from people who have seen it, and if you get enough performance on the digital side and stuff like that, I think you can write this one off hoping for a good turnaround in the sequel. Mm-hmm. That's what I think they, I could see them doing. Yeah, because, I mean, it wasn't just, unknown, you know? Like, it's yeah. like, yeah, Dungeon and Dragon, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to see, so that's cool. All right, uh, anything else, Mike? That's it for me. I actually uh, watched two other things. Um mm-hmm. I watched the finale that which came out on that show I told you about last week, uh, Jury Duty. The um, mm-hmm. and uh, office. yeah, it, yeah, it's like The Office meets a reality prank show, sort of. Yeah, um, and yeah, it was it was pretty satisfying actually. You sort of, I mean, if you were really invested in like the actual trial, you might be annoyed because mm. they don't. It just sort of ends when they they're ready to uh, you know. They don't go in. You don't know exactly, you know. They, they don't explain too much beyond just the, the ending of the jury duty process. I'll say that much. Um, but uh, the the last episode, and I'm glad they did this, was actually all about the reveal to the one guy, which hmm. I was hoping they would put give a little time to that because, you know, I wanted to see, you know, how he reacted to all of the stuff and how they pulled everything off. So. Um, no, it was pretty good. I don't know how they would ever replicate this or do a second season. It seems almost impossible. But uh, I recommend it, again, if you like The Office and want to see a weird sort of prank show version of it. Um, I think it's available almost everywhere because it's um, free with ads on like that like freebie thing. I saw it through Amazon, but it might be available other places too. Um it's a quick watch. It's eight, like, half-hour-ish episodes, so... Mm. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny. It was pretty fun to see. And then the other thing I watched I did not like as much, and uh, this was that Netflix Rangers Forever Power Rangers thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I'm not the biggest Power Rangers fan. I was into it back then, like, 93, 94, maybe 95 when you know up until about the movie came out and then i was about done with it um so i'm not one of those people who went back recently i'm not one who followed you know after the original cast mostly left um and i really haven't watched episodes probably since then so um i going into this expected this to be a little i don't know better less like a, just a long episode from 1993 mm. but that's kind of what it was, uh, except the recognizable characters are all like 49 years old and look sad. And and yeah, it was corny. It was bad. And <laughs> they even CGI'd Megazord, which is a big no-no, I think. Let's get a guy in a suit again. 
and especially since they didn't really um you know show out the budget for the cgi it looks like slightly better than that movie cgi did back then if you remember how bad that was um that said real big power rangers fans like my brother like some one of my friends at work they they loved it but i uh i was not all about it i thought it was it's literally just as cheesy and like low budget as an as an episode of power rangers it's just the only thing that's grown up is like a character dies like the characters can die now but other than that it's still just like a cheesy power rangers episode so don't you think i wasn't impressed like... i was hoping it would grow up a little more to you know bring back all these old actors for something a little more interesting but they they didn't i think it's jimmy on mute thank you i oh, think it has uh, been talking <laughs> no i just started again um <laughs> okay. i've been sitting here listening uh but i forgot that this came out by the way uh but yeah it's um it it, it you know it I think, Mike, this was made for the fans, and I don't think this was made for people who, you know, didn't See, weren't. Like, I do think that's what they were going for here. In this, a really I know, episode. but I was, you know, I was in it back then. I don't know. I guess I'm not enough of a fan since I didn't really follow it after that too much. But like, that was, you know, that was my my I do, age group I do back agree, then. Like, um, the a CGI is, you know, not a cool idea for for Megazord. So it's kind of like. Things that rely heavily on nostalgia, if you're not really into it, it doesn't work out. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's a lesson. Maybe that's a lesson. I don't, I don't know what this lesson is. <laughs> what am I missing? I think the lesson is because I think <laughs> most people who liked this, like, raved about it. So it probably did pretty well on Netflix. No, I was just, but just, I, just jibbing at Star Wars. No, not <laughs> All right. Gosh, this is All where right. Leia's blaster holder came from. What the fuck? I will never forget that, unfortunately. Like, that's ingrained in my brain for now. don't remember that it even happened. <laughs> I, I wish I could forget. All right. Let's let's move in some news here. Talk about the uh, trailer for The Flash came out today. Um, did you guys check it out? Was I mean, it? Was it? The Flash? Was it The Flash? I thought that was in the next Batman movie. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, you guys you, are silly. Did you guys it's know about we 50% had... Flash. That was, that was a Batman trailer. I, I understand what you're saying here. <laughs> That was that was clearly like, hey, let's we have Michael Keaton and he's Batman. Let's just like lean the shit out of this. I'm pretty sure you saw Michael Keaton more than Ezra Miller. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I do think that Michael Keaton's Batman looks far better than Ezra Miller's Flash in this movie. And I'm like, that suit looks awful. All the yeah. all the suits something, look something awful. Is actually, fucked with the, oh. something is fucked with the neck there. It's it's just not real looking. I mean, every suit but Batman's suit looks terrible. I think. I, I oh. feel like even... You think even, Supergirl's suit's bad? Yeah, I don't well, think it well, looks, good looks good in a couple of the shots. I didn't think it looked good in a couple of the shots. I was like... I, I, I do think that her overall design is yeah. fine, but I don't think that... Uh, I don't know. I, I just... Batman was the only one I really... I thought looked like... I don't know. What, what I was expecting to see. Oh. Uh, the other ones I, mean, I thought Supergirl were... Supergirl I thought was fine. Flash, I, I was never really a big fan of the armored outfit yeah. that he had. Why do you need armor? You're not getting hit. You move faster than everyone else. It seems weird that he has armor. I agree. No. I always hated that design. I said that back And the then there was even out. more armored one <laughs> in this trailer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I saw it. Uh, so by the whatever Flash that's going to be, the reverse Flash, I guess he'll turn out to be. Who knows what he is. Yeah, um, he, he probably will be his own enemy in this movie. I I, that's what I'm expecting. Yeah, definitely. I'm expecting. I mean, that's so. what it always works. It's like... Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I saw it, whatever, like, this storyline has been done so much, and I'm not even a huge comic person, but I've seen this play out, like, in, in at least two DC animated movies, the, you know, Tim, uh, uh, the Bruce Tim, you know, Justice mm-hmm. League, like, I've seen this happen so many times, I'm just like, wow, I wonder what's gonna happen, I wonder if this, the, you know, timeline's gonna change, I wonder if any of this is gonna matter by the end of the movie. Probably not. I, um... <clears throat> I don't know. With the amount of hype that James Gunn has put behind this, I wonder if it's going to set up something for him oh, or his his universe. That's all you'll listen to. Okay. Huh? <laughs> you guys are coming out of this like super biased. I feel like, but how? Yeah, it's all right. What? I'm not even saying anything. Whoa, 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 whoa! I just said only, I... only only James Gunn's opinion matters. When did I? I'm just saying. What are you talking about? I said that. I feel like what his his comment about how much he loves the the film it's going to lead into something that's going okay. to be launching his universe. That's that's what I just said. I'm not even. Right. 
I'm not even bringing him in because like he loves the movie. I mean, that's a good thing, isn't it? I mean, it's opening up right after his movie, so like you'd think <laughs> conflict of interest, but you know. I don't know. I'm excited for this. This looks like this could. You're excited be... for a Batman movie? I'm yeah, I'm excited hey, for the Batman movie. My, Mike's Batman <laughs> is Michael Keaton's Batman. He loves that. I mean, right now, it's I am joking. I'm joking. Now than I am. I was before. I am joking. Batman, we got. No, I I almost look like this sort of like a this could be a Days of Future Past situation where they sort of you know clean up timelines, make everything make sense, and you know yeah set it's the slate to, clean for going forward. To have faith that that's going to happen. That's the only problem. It's hard to believe that they're going to make anything significantly better mm. no. based off of this movie <laughs> and that's the thing is like i had full hope or faith or blind faith i guess that they would do a full continuity reset because i called this as soon as justice league bomb i was like you just gotta zoom to flashpoint reset everything start over again and now they're like oh well we're gonna get rid of these characters and we're gonna keep these characters it's like dude just throw it all out you can't you can't do half and half it just doesn't work so We'll see. I mean, I, it will be. I am interested to see how it does in the box office. Uh, we'll oh. see if it can overcome the stench. After Shazam two, I'm not really hopeful, but June is a pretty crowded month, right? Because uh, got. Yeah, uh... I think it, it should be it's the whole era, that whole used to be amazing time of movies. Mm. So yeah, it's it should be hopefully. Um, but gotta look and see what else is coming. But you know, do you think this does better than um, God, Shazam? Oh, it's got to. <laughs> well, no, no. I mean, Shazam, Shazam, oh, Shazam, one or Shazam two. Both. It's got to be better. Should do better than. Both. Really? Do you think it I reaches think, half a billion I mean, if you're, worldwide? If you got, no. Well, if you could get Mike, if you get no. Michael Keaton Batman back, it, you, you need to do better than Shazam one. You got to. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, like you got. I, I I realize where I am. I realize there's a heavy Batman bias here, but I really don't know how many people honestly care about Michael Keaton Batman in 2023. Like that feels like I, our like parents' generation would care about Batman Michael Keaton that much. Yeah, mm, I don't know, man. That's, I think our age group up is, on Michael Keaton. Our, yeah, our really? age group is uh, our age group. Yeah, do you, you think the sub thirty year olds care? I don't know. Possibly, it's interesting. Possibly. It's such a it's such an iconic Batman movie that I feel like anybody who's into those movies have already seen nineteen eighty nine. Tim Burton one, like Michael Keaton Batman, was the best Batman movie you got until. Batman Begins. So. I understand that, but again, I'm just saying I I don't think the sub thirty market cares. I just don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's move on to some news. Let's see. We don't need to care. Don't care about that one. Real quick mention of Jonathan Majors update. More multiple women have come forward about mm -hmm. alleged abuse. Um, his his uh, what, who dropped him last week? His agent and his um, PR company. I thought. Yeah, mm -hmm. his PR company. I know his PR company is on there, and his agent. Yes, they dropped him. They've se they've gone their separate ways mutually. Yeah, um, mutual. so that's never a good look. But apparently, multiple women have come forward now. I think the count is eight of having an issue with him. Um, this so, dude's done. Yeah. He's cooked. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. So uh, that's the update on that. Let's go into some other news here. We've got Daisy Ridley. Last week, we talked about her with her Star Wars movie. Looks like. Um, a report suggests that she's actually not going to be the lead in the film. And you know what? I'm actually happy for that. I think it is. That's why I brought I'm it good with I, that. I put it on here because I feel like, uh, and I also heard the same report. Uh, John Boyega is actually back as Finn as well, hmm. uh, which is huge because the the report is that he and like uh, Kathleen Kennedy and and the whole hierarchy of Star Wars have kind of made up and they've worked their differences out because he was obviously felt burnt. Uh, Money. But, yeah, no, maybe. But he's back for this as also not another lead, but as a complementary character so they can move forward in the universe. I love the statement, by the way, mm. was, you know, we, we're creating this because people want to see what happens post Rise of, Rise of Skywalker. And, you know, we want to deliver that. And by doing that, they feel mm. that the statement was um, by making Ray not the focal point, we can start fresh with carrying the story forward. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if it actually will be about really Finn. Makes sense. Because I wonder if it actually be about Finn because post uh, Rise, I remember he was pretty vocal about his treatment by both Disney and the fans in um, Star Wars mm -hmm. community and stuff like that. 
and how his character is like. I mean, he hardly had a role in the third movie. It's really no, so bad. Yeah. Yeah, he had no story arc. Um, so I wonder if they'll kind of course correct that, and maybe make about Ray training him well, and another group of you know Jedi. I I do wonder if it happens fifteen years later. I do wonder if maybe he's at a, maybe he does get, yeah. does he get that paddle on? Is he already there with that? Mm. Um, it, it's a way of putting him in the movie, giving him more story. But but not making him a focal point. Like I do think they want to start with maybe a younger Jedi uh, that they can start something to, from the Jedi. This is going to be the Jedi Order. I'm sure of that. It's just a matter of what they're going to do with it. Mm, so. Maybe Grogu will be in it too. Oh yeah, yeah, could be, could be. So that would be interesting. Um, all right, what else do I have here? Oh, Netflix to spend 2.5 billion dollars on Korean content over the next four years. Yeah, That's just revealed between uh, South Korean president and uh, Netflix CEO. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's doing really well on their service right now. So yeah, I mean, recurring uh, content. Absolutely. I mean, especially with um, what was it? Uh, God, I'm forgetting the name of the Squid Game. Squid Game. Thank you. Um, I mean, as soon as that happened, I called that. I'm right. like, they're going to invest oh, yeah. in like Korean content now. Um, Two point mm-hmm. five billion. Two point five billion is a lot of. Money. I mean, I even heard they're doing an American. I mean, we all knew that was coming. Like, American yeah. version. As soon, of the, the, as soon as that hit the popularity, it did. It's like every country is going to have yeah. a version. Yeah, it's definitely going to have their Squid Game. Yeah. yeah, so we'll see. Uh, but I mean, like Korean dramas do, you know, really well. Movies. I mean, Train to Busan. Oh, wow. I, mean, I mean, I love that. A lot of good ones. Mm-hmm. Some really great. Yeah, Parasite. Films. I mean, you look at that. You know, just there's a there's a lot of opportunity there, and um, you know, two point five billion goes a long way over there. Yeah. 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 It does. Um, so. Yeah. Um, wait. Did we just get this breaking? Warner Brothers confirms Beetlejuice two is in the works. Hmm. Michael Keaton ride. There it is. There's like rumors that Jenna Ortega was in line for a role in a Beetlejuice movie, and then like, oh well, it's yeah, that's in, that's coming. So I think yeah. that's what happened. Oh, uh, new Lydia. Maybe it'll be a remake. Obviously. Or <laughs> she's... yeah, she plays the that, Lydia's that daughter or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> come well, up, so, come up with something new in been, 2023 mm-hmm. challenge. They've been trying to do this movie, like bring this back for I think a handful of years mm-hmm. now. So mm-hmm. no, that's fair. That's fair. And I know they so, they came out with a musical. Apparently, that did pretty well in the, the um, you know actual theaters. So. Here's the question: Will they bring Alec Baldwin back? Uh, I think I think Alec from from prison. He's not in jail no, he's for fine. that. No, he just got acquitted of that. They did oh, drop the that? charges. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, but, we forgot to but, that last week. But I don't know if if people want to see him on screen yet. But we'll I'm see. I'm fine with it. It wasn't his fault. Give him a gun. All right. Um. All right. I said something yeah, very got... real on the podcast, but I won't. <laughs> all right. Uh. Let's see. Adam Driver is likely our Reed Richards. It's been reported he's actually been offered uh, the role. I hate this. No. Boo. No. Boo. No worries. <laughs> and no offense to Adam Driver. No offense at all to him. No, I think I'm he's a fantastic actor. But again, just like when we saw, um, what's his name? The 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 one Indian actor that was um, in um, Eternals, Sinski? and then he was in. Um, I don't know. And he was a character in um, Star Wars. Um, Nanjiani uh, Kumal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you know, I was like, dude, every time like I see like if you're a big character, and then, like I see you in like Star Wars, like vice versa, it just takes me out of it. So like anytime he's gonna show up, I'm really like, that's not. Fucking Adam Driver. That's not, um, you know, Mr. Fantastic. That's fucking Kylo Ren. Like, I don't want it. I don't like it. Get it out of here. I, well, I hope well, this isn't I, true. I do. I, I I do think it's true. Um, actually, the other report is Mila Kunis is also the finalist for Susan. Oh, Storm. I thought I saw Vanessa Kirby as one of the. She's also there as well. There's there, It's those two. So it's between those two. Hopefully, it's Vanessa Kirby. Yeah. Um, I don't mind either, well, but I do understand what you guys are saying about the Hobbs and or was it. Uh, what's the Hobbs and Shaw? Rock? Hobbs and Hobbs Shaw. Shaw. She's yeah. Shaw's sister. Is she? she uh, is I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I didn't watch that, so I don't. I don't know who that is. But, but oh, really yeah, quick. Think... Yeah, go ahead. Finish well, this. Ahead. We'll finish no, it. No, no. no, no it's, Adam, it's, Adam, it's unrelated. Yeah, just go okay. finish the Adam Driver. Adam, Adam Driver. Um, I don't hate it myself, but I understand your hate for it. I just. I don't I mean, like think I said, Tony was like we just kind of re- reiterate like. He's not a bad actor. I don't think he's the best actor. I just don't see him like again. You kind of take it out of the you know 
the show or the movie or whatever because you know, oh, that's Kylo Ren and he had his shirt off and the Death Star or whatever crap garbage thing <laughs> how that many was. Times, over under how, um, many shirt, how many times his shirt's off in this? And it's like, yeah, I can't take this guy seriously as the smartest man in the, in the world. Like, I, I do. I see somebody who's a little bit more unknown who can, like, fill that role mm -hmm. as that character. Yep. Like, you know, exactly. like Hugh Jackman, like, is Wolverine now because we didn't really know who he was before. Uh, here, you get somebody who's been in something major. That's That's, you know just makes it not as interesting to me mm -hmm. yeah exactly we got another way with it make it okay i got you if you want to be right, a well, secondary well, character something fine um uh, no what i was gonna say is uh because uh, uh cory just brought up hobbs and shaw with the uh, the fast and the furious the trailer for the the next one like this is so crazy like i cannot believe having watched the first movie i just don't remember the first movie one mm -hmm. like a bunch of the eastern korea went to see it yeah. like how they started going from like just illegal drag, you know, strip racing to they're basically super agents now at this point. I mean, and that's been that way for like past six movies. No, 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 I agree. Uh, like, the, just the stunt work is mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Like, uh, spoiler for the trailer, I guess, but like, um, what's his name? Vin Diesel's character uh, just is in a plane. Like, his car is in a a, a freight tra uh, plane that like is dropped onto the highway. And then two helicopters are after him, and then somehow he hooks hook shots the two helicopters, mm -hmm. and then like yeah. like yeah. flies off a, a highway and like smashes them together. I'm just like like definitely outpower the two helicopters. I'm like that's not how physics work. I'm like pretty positive helicopters that can like transport no, I mean, tanks and is, shit. Like, how do we top the last one? Because like they've had ones where like a car goes from one like tower. Like skyscraper to another skyscraper, yeah. like you know, hundreds yeah. of stories. It doesn't work. There. It doesn't work. Like, like that's that. not. Yeah, yeah. I, I am interested to see um, Jason Momoa. I, I I don't know if I'll see this, but I was interested that he was the villain in that one. Um, and again, even though you know, it's I expect this to be a one note villain, like not a recurring. I'm not. I don't even care about the Fast and Furious universe or anything like that. But um, uh, he they did have stick a stick around. By yeah. the way, all these characters, all these actors, <laughs> like every villain that's been except for the Rock. Except for the well, rock, because he can't share a screen. Mm. So. Yep. So yeah, but yeah, I mean, like, we got we saw um, Jason Statham in this trailer too. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know. I haven't watched the last two Fast and the Furious movies, so I I I probably will at some point. But I think um, Spirit Spirit Away is more on my list. I, I was about to say. <laughs> I was about. I, to say. If I didn't finish with that, I would have gotten so much shit for it. Yeah, is dumb fun. I like it. Yeah, it's, um, yeah no, it's, it's cool. It's just I haven't seen. They are superhero movies. Two or three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. I, I, I always like those those movies when they just felt like heist movies. I like that a lot, and I mm -hmm. think they've gotten. Once the um, D and D is kind of a heist movie. Just throwing that out there. You know, I, I'm, I'm very interested heist in movie. So yeah, I about almost thieves. I mean, honor. Mm -hmm. movies. No. Yeah. Yep. so yeah all right I, I think that's it on the news yeah that's all we have so cool. interesting all right that's gonna wrap up uh the movie cast uh stay tuned for the game cast coming up thanks for tuning in everybody we are on twitch once again tuesday nights starting at eight o'clock please join us and we're on youtube the following day subscribe to both channels to get the latest and greatest content uh we'll see you guys in the game cast we're out <laughs>